Hi, welcome back to AJM Learn CSS Hacks. Today, I wanna to talk to you about just really pushing your mobile optimization um, to be a little more custom with uh, this quick little CSS hack that helps you change the font styling on mo just on mobile. So I find that, for example, I'll have like a big statement H1 that looks really nice on desktop. And, and Squarespace does a pretty good job at, you know, that dynamic sizing and sizing things down for mobile, but sometimes it's just overwhelming. It needs to be tweaked. Um, another thing is sometimes I do pretty big, like, like larger line height for my body copy on desktop, but it causes a lot of scrolling on mobile. So those are just a couple examples. Um, so many ways that, you know, maybe in a specific heading, falls over a different background color on um, mobile and you want to change that color, you know, all of that. So pretty simple. Uh, two kind of options here. Um, do note that in the post, I've only shown this with an H1, but you simply just change this part of the code to either H1, 2, 3, 4, or a P, depending on, you know, which type of text you're trying to target. So this first one is how to apply it to a, the whole site. So if I said, hey, I want my H1 to be smaller on the whole site, You'll see this does not do anything on desktop because of the breakpoint here. It's basically saying anything, you know, under this breakpoint should it, this should apply to. So you can see the H1 small and you can see these changes start to happen um, when we're in mobile view. Um, just to show, you know, for let's say we change it to P. So we're targeting this paragraph here. We could, you know, change the size. We could change the line height to be, I mean, there's so many different ways to do it, but like, yeah, play around with it there. So you can throw in, I've only shown the size here, but you can throw in whatever code makes sense, whatever you need here. You could do any sort of different text styling inside the brackets. So that's if you want to apply it to the whole site. The next option is if you want to apply it to just a single block. So again, back to that example of, you know, sometimes you might have a certain heading maybe that falls on a different part of the screen on mobile and it's not as legible. Um, so for example, I'm gonna do the heading two here. So you can see nothing has changed. It's because we need to drop this block ID in. Again, I always suggest this um, Squarespace ID finder plugin. I'm gonna grab the block and then you'll see uh, edits to the H2 happening. So we can you know, change and edit from there if we wanna change the color again, just letter spacing, line height, even the font itself, anything that you can think about styling text, just put it inside these brackets. Um, all that CSS can go in here, um, but that's it. And you can customize your mobile into the site a little bit further.